y'all and welcome back or if you're new around here hello and welcome my name is Katie Marie and I like to do unedited get ready with me style videos playing with palettes or uh, a palette for the day and today I really want to do a palette bingo it has been a long time since I've done palette bingo I really like this palette this is the uh, cosmic brushes delicious delights palette really been enjoying this I probably could do a review on it now but I honestly just don't want to finish playing with it so I'm gonna keep on trying it but I thought it'd be fun to do a palette bingo so if you've never seen a palette bingo this was started by I'm pretty sure Emily Noel way back in the day and basically she just kind of bingo style she picked five numbers like randomly generated and then created you know taking those five shadows she created a look probably didn't explain it well but we'll get into it and you'll see but this is what we're working with and I can't wait to see what we get so let me go ahead and pull up my phone I should have already done this because I'm <clears throat> sorry I had to cough um, as I said, I don't edit my videos and so I try to kind of prep things so I'm not doing this, trying to uh, kill time. What do I use? A random number generator on Google. Literally, that's all I do. And we got one, two, three, four, five, five, ten, fifteen, twenty shadows in this palette. And so as I said, punched it in there. I'm going to now click generate. And the first color that we're going to play with is the number 13. So we got 10, 11, 12, 13. We have a milkshake, a purple. I like to swatch on my left hand. No rhyme or reason, just what I do. But this shade, I like to swatch it out all, um, like the color story out on my hand so that I don't forget because you guys know me, terrible memory. Okay, next step, let's go. And generate 18, hopefully you guys saw that. We got 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Slushy. Here we go. Nice, pretty blue, like a nice bright blue. I really do like this one. Such a pretty shade. And I don't even know if I thoroughly explained it, but um, I'm gonna pick five shadows. Those are the only shadows I can use at the end, or if I've used those and I wanna add more, I can, but I have to at least use those for a complete look. All right, next up, oh wait, gotta grab this. Let's generate one more time, or for the third time, number nine. So that's going to be Marshmallow right here. We're getting a lot of light pastels. This should be a fun look. Let me pop it in, oop, did not grab enough. Let me put it right in here. Okay, we're going like ice cream pastel, I feel like, just looking at this. So we got three, let's do two more. Let's see if we can get a dark shade. Generate again, I got 17. Man, I'm avoiding all the, the colorful. We got 15, 16, 17, sweetie. That's gonna go along really well with all the shades I have going, so can't complain there. I really need a deep shade. I wouldn't even mind having an all matte eyeshadow look. You guys know, it kind of, also I feel like it's gonna go with my outfit, or with my shirt. I guess you guys can't see my whole outfit, but with my shirt. All right, last one, come on, come on. We gotta get, what is it, 15 is the dark purple. Let's see if we can get it. Did I click it? Three. That was not the dark purple. It's this shade right there, minty. Oh wow. No shimmers and no deep tones. I'm already struggling. I'm gonna put this here. I hear one of my kids awake, so I'm gonna take a minute to think. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. Um, even though I don't have a super dark shade, slushy is relatively dark. I was just, you guys know me. I like as dark as I can go in the outer corner. So I am thankful I at least have a deep shade in there, a darker shade in there. So I'm gonna use that on the outer corner and I will blend it out with this shade and I'm gonna put the green on the inner half and then I'm gonna take the pink and the purple and do a matte cut crease. It has been ages since I've done an all matte cut crease. So hopefully I'm not too rusty. But that is the look we're gonna go for, and I'm excited. Like I said, it's been ages since I've done a palette bingo style um, eyeshadow look where palette bingo decides the colors that I am doing, and I have some time. Hopefully, fingers crossed, my little one does not wake up. She has been sleeping for a little while. Some days she has great naps, other days she randomly wakes up an hour into her nap, so this should either be fine, I have plenty of time, or I'm about to run out of time like in the next two minutes, so we shall see. But hopefully, um, anyway, I've been really enjoying this palette. So much fun is, you know, pastel, bright pastels really in season for winter. Maybe not, it's more of a spring thing, but I love playing with these sh shades anytime I can. So I'm all for it. I'm gonna dive first into that deep, or uh, deep, the dark blue called Slushy. And we're gonna pick this up. It's not really a deep shade, but it is a darker shade, nice and bright. And definitely like 
intense of a shade. So I'm gonna pack this on. Obviously, I already have my face makeup on, so I'm going to do my best to not make a mess with the um, with the <laughs> shadows. Now, typically, when I have used this, you know, in the day to day, I always do my face first, or I always flip things around. Sorry, I always do my eyeshadows first and then my face. So honestly, I'm pretty like heavy-handed rough or just haphazard when I do my eyes because I'm always like oh whatever I'll fix it I'll clean up my face I usually like use a my micellar water to give my face like a gentle wash before I um before I do my face so it really doesn't matter but uh, as you can see this is a very bright shade I am tapping it off once each time, um, you know, not a super gentle tap, but not super rough either. So I'm giving it a tap just to make sure there's nothing loose on my brush that's gonna make a mess. And there is no fallout. And like, look how beautiful that is. It's a really pretty, you know, simple, I mean, not simple in a bad way, but just like a really nice, true blue, true bright blue, I guess I would call it. All right, I'm gonna go into this Sonia G, and then we're gonna go into this shade right here, which is Sweetie. Now these are a little like dusty, or not dusty, but, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, messy in that uh, I can get some like fallout into the pan or like dust off into the pan. It's a little loose when you pick it up. But as I said, I've been just hitting my brush once before going into it and all around pretty pleased that it's not too messy on the face. Since this is such a light pastel, I'm going to tap more on it that way it makes it pop. Um, I could have, I suppose, used a white eyeshadow base to really make sure this stands out, but I didn't think about that before. I tend to not use white, so we will make do. But just tapping it, I feel like, is giving me that look that I like when it comes to my, past my pastels. You have to let me know, are you a big pastel person? I feel like I'm not, but when I am in the mood for pastels, because like I like playing around with all colors in general, um, when I do wear pastels, I just want it to be nice and vibrant. I'm not the like barely there pastel type of person. All right, this is definitely a lighter tone when it comes to a pastel, but I am able to pack it on. It could also be my, um, my skin tone. I just feel like maybe my warm skin tone is canceling out this blue. I'm not sure. Maybe if I understood color theory and stuff more, I could have a more educated opinion on that. But I mean, it's showing up. It's definitely transferring, but it's just not standing out that much. I mean, I guess the color in and of itself, even in the pan, is pretty, pretty muted. So here I am being hard on it for being the color it is, but we're gonna pack it on. I don't think this is a shade I've used just because me and my color preference, I tend to reach for other colors. I'm gonna go back into that first shade now. Oh, there was one time I did a um, palette bingo where I had to create the look as I picked the colors, which that is also a fun challenge. So instead of picking all five of them and then all five shades and then sitting here and going like, okay, where do I want to use what? I would pick them one at a time. And so I'd have to use that shade that I picked before moving on and discovering what the next one would be. And that is so fun. Maybe I'll do that next time. Let me know if you like to see. I feel like, um, you know, Palo Bingo, these type of just playing with makeup style videos are kind of dead in the beauty community. Um, at least I don't see them much anymore. But I guess the bigger creators that I follow, but I suppose the bigger creators that I follow are kept more busy just, you know, doing the newer releases. Um, so I guess it's understandable, but let me know if you like it. I like to just play with makeup especially since I feel like I have very limited time to play with makeup. When I get the opportunity, I just want to have fun. Those two shades blended really beautifully into each other. I know I was talking about that blue, the lighter tone really not showing up, but it, it creates a nice little subtle, subtle blend out. And that other blue going on top of it, the slushy darker shade, blends out beautifully. What do you think? It looks really intense through the camera lens. So I'm happy with that. I'm liking what I'm seeing. So now I'm gonna go with a little bit of a bigger fluffy brush like, mm, let's go with this. It's not super, super, let's go more with more of a circular fluffy. It's small, but I have a small area here. We're gonna go with Minty, which is right here. As I said, the, the mattes are powdery, but I really don't care about powdery as long as it doesn't make a mess if I tap it off type of thing. And half the time, if I'm doing my face afterwards, I really don't care, but I know some people do so if this is the kind where if you sat there and just like did this into the pan all day it would probably make a really big mess but if you don't it's fine you just can kind of pick it up carefully i do more 
like tapping down instead of like rough roughing it up if that makes sense oh this is really pretty very intense of a, a pastel I think it is just because that blue is something with my skin tone canceling out because this green is I feel like in for me personally standing out a lot more now uh, under all these lights I don't know how well you would be able to see it but uh, hopefully you can very nice and with these lighter shades sometimes I forget to tap it off just because it is lighter I don't mind going a little bit more ham with it and I'm not noticing any type of fallout this little brush is a morphe no idea but I like this this size for my inner my inner crease area very nice okay really pretty now is the time for the cut crease and I'm getting a little nervous now because like I said it's been a while since I've done a matte cut crease it's been a while and a while since I've done like a cut crease with um, like using uh, what do you call a primer underneath because I feel like that's the best way with the mattes so <laughs> let's see how long this is gonna take me hopefully not long but we shall see. That's a really pretty blend. It looks blinding on uh, the viewfinder, the little bit I can see there. But let's tap this, and I'm gonna have to go a lot more than this. I have a tiny brush, or really, I really should have a larger flat brush, but I'm running out of my larger flat brushes. So, this is all I got. And I'm going to use this to mainly cut my crease, and I'll probably cheat and use my finger to pat in the rest of the concealer. Okay. Not my best job. I gotta concentrate, but I also don't want there to be just a ton of awkward silence in this video. So, ooh, so pretty. Great springtime look as we sit here in winter, but hey, I'll be ready for it. This, I guess this video will be ready for it because as I said, I don't really like go do my look with the times type of thing. So even though this is a perfect spring look, I'll probably be wearing like dark vampy colors when springtime comes just because that's just what I'm trying type of thing. But this video will be perfect. It's a great palette for spring because it's got all those like really light pastels, but it's got a lot of fun deep colors as well. I don't know, it's just all around a great little palette. I promise my finger is not dirty, that's paint stuck on it that I could take the time to uh, like scratch off of my nail, but I just have not. All right, so that's looking pretty good. And I think I'll see how dry it is in a second, but if it's getting to the, the type of dryness that I like, I'll probably do one eye at a time. If it's too wet, I'll wait because with um, matte eyeshadows, if you go on too wet, it'll actually kind of like change the color or like the, the pigmentation of your mat. So I'm gonna give that a moment to dry while I use this E55 brush. This should work well. And I'm gonna go into first the pink. I'll do the first uh, pink closest to the eye or inner corner and then purple going out to the blue. I feel like that will look really pretty. So I'm gonna go first with the purple actually. Uh, I'm sorry, I feel like I do this in a lot of videos. I'm explaining something and then I think about it. I'm like, wait, let me switch that around. All right, I'm gonna place the purple down first. The reason for this is because I feel like the center of my lid is a little bit more um, dried. And then also I feel like doing the center is better because then the pink can kind of go over the purple and it's a more like a nice blend as opposed to the other way around. It can be a little bit more harsh. I don't know, it's just something I noticed so, or I've observed sometimes. Look at that, pigmented. Like it's such a light color, but it's pigmented. I'm gonna clean that off, go into marshmallow, the pink, we're gonna pack that on the inner half. Not the best brush for this, just cause it's a little big and clunky for this inner part, but I think it'll be okay if I just take some time and make it work. Yeah, I like that. Ooh, these are also, I think, gonna blend really nicely into each other. I feel like an all matte look really tests the blendability of a palette because if it doesn't like to like play nice and blend with its own, you know, other colors and whatnot in the palette. You can tell when you do an all matte look cause there's no place to hide, you know, you can't just put some more shimmer on and blend it out and it's like, oh good, it's all blended together. Shimmer helps hide any imperfections. With an all matte, especially an all matte cut crease, like you have to get a nice, you have to get a nice blend or it'll show. And like, I feel like I didn't really work that hard and I feel like I'm pretty happy already with this blend. Let me clean this a little bit and put on a little bit more pink. Just cause that darker purple is still peeking through a touch. Just like that. 
All right, that was easy. All right, is that pretty much the look? I mean, in a way it is because I've used all the shades. So I think what I'm gonna do, this is just the, um, the other blue. I'm going to, uh, oh, I wonder if I'll have time to do a wing because I feel like an all matte look needs a wing to ground it, so I'll probably do that off camera and I'll include it at the end. But I'm gonna take that uh, blue and go like this to come underneath. And do I wanna use something else? I kinda do, but I kinda don't. You know, I'm just gonna take that purple. That's what I'll do. So I'm gonna clean off that brush that I used with the pink and purple. I'm gonna load it up with the purple. I mean, it's honestly, this purple also kinda looks pink too at the same time, but I don't know, it's very similar colors. That could also be helping the blend, but I'm just gonna tap it like so. Look at that. Nice, very nice. And I'm gonna take the blue brush and just finish coming, coming around and then the lightest, lightest blue with Sweetie and marry it up. Oof, talk about an effortless all matte pastel look. I'm super happy with that. What do you guys think? I would like to hear your feedback on the looks I do. And like I said, it's been so long since I've done an all matte cut crease. Um, this makes me so happy. It's been a while since I've taken the time to play like this. I feel like I'm always like, hurry, hurry, just do a look that doesn't take too much time. But I guess I'm feeling a little dangerous today. And also I just wanted to do palette bingo and palette bingo was like, hey, you need to do, take the time to do an all matte cut crease. So here we are. I like it. Such a creative look. Definitely not something I've done with the palette before. Or honestly, I don't even know if I would have thought, I mean, maybe I would have thought to do it if I was gonna open this palette for an all matte cut crease. I would have probably done something similar. Probably ignored the pink and purple and played with this pastel, because you guys know I like green, greens, greens. I love greens. Um, so, hey, the, the palette bingo pushed me to play with a shade that I might not otherwise have, or shades that I might not otherwise. So that's always fun. I feel like that's the thing I love most about palette bingo is not only is it like a challenge, but you'll also get um, different looks than I feel like we gravitate towards because typically I feel like most people go to the shades they're comfortable with or they like the most. So yeah, if you've never tried a palette bingo, you should, it's fun. Okay, I'm just trying to see if they're kind of even close enough for real life like it doesn't have to be perfect all right where did my brush go I'm gonna go back into this brush I'm gonna make sure this is tapped off I tap the um, shadow or the um, the concealer off out here so it's not too dark when I put down the um, the mats because too dark and if there's a line it'll be impossible to blend with what you know regardless of what type of eyeshadow quality you have it just makes it very difficult okay I'm gonna give this one more minute. I just wanna make sure I don't mess it up on this last step or last bit, last eye, whatever you wanna say. Giving it a second to dry and we will start packing it on. I don't even know, maybe I should have put more purple. Or like I said, this purple is very close when you're combining the pink to the pink-ish, you know, kind of, not, it's, not, it's not pink, I'm not saying that, but I don't know, the hues are very similar so I feel like where I blended the two kind of is hard to see or hard to differentiate the two because they just flow so beautifully and seamlessly into each other. So that's also neat that I got these shades that just go so well and so effortlessly into each other, like from the green to the blue. Absolutely beautiful, effortless blend. And then now the pink to the purple. Maybe I'll tap on a little bit more purple on the other eye here in a minute, but yeah, they're really pretty. And the blend between these, I feel like I do not see any type of line or any type of weirdness where like one shadow is not wanting to uh, stick or is just doing weird patching things. Like it is a smooth, smooth matte eyeshadow. It looks so pretty. All right, gonna go into a little bit more purple. Um, also no fallout, that's awesome. I mean, I'll look again in a second, but I could not see any fallout, which is impressive. Cause like I said, it's def definitely powdery. Okay touch more boom all right gonna go back into the blue go underneath here and we are wrapping this look up I think I am gonna go ahead and take um, 
take advantage of the rule where if I use all the shades, if I wanna pull an extra one in, I can because I wanna pull something in from my inner corner. So we'll use one of the shimmers because the shimmers are also really pretty, which is kind of, I was like a shame not to be able to use them, but uh, we'll do that. That's what we'll do. We'll take a little bit of the, hmm, which one? We'll do the delicious because, oh my goodness, that is a delicious shade. All right, I'm gonna blend in this purple. It's like a purple pink, I guess, since I'm using the same brush. And then kind of take the lightest blue with Sweetie and marry it all around. Boom, I can't believe I did it. Well, I guess it wasn't 17 minutes because I did have to pause for a kid, but that didn't take me too long. I feel like for whatever reason in my head, I was always like, oh, all matte looks take me so long. We're gonna take Delicious, like I said. It's this beautiful iridescent purple silver. I don't know, purple to something shift. We'll find out. Oh, did I make sure? I hope I haven't been out of focus this whole time. I think I focused it when I sat down. What is this shift, pink to purple? Ooh, which is like perfection for this type of look. Because I have pink and purple going on on my lid. Super pretty. All right. This shade is also really pretty all over the eyes, but it is the most perfect inner corner. I prefer it as an inner corner because it is that type of iridescent see-through shade. There isn't really any like color or pigmentation behind it, but it's super pretty for the inner corner. I'm pretty sure I've done a video. I'm pretty sure I posted it. I say pretty sure because I just did a video yesterday. We could have sworn I posted it, but I can't find the video on my channel, so I don't think I did post a video with it. Anyway, I'm pretty sure I posted a video with this, and um, it's so much fun with this palette. Oh my goodness. I'm almost ready to uh, do, give my review. Like I said, I probably could have done it today. I didn't go back and look, but I feel like I've done around five or six looks with this palette, but at the same time, I'm like, once I officially review it, I'm like done, put it to the side, move on to, you know, continue testing other palettes and I'm just not there yet. So hence why I did not, did not uh, want to like give my official review. And I'm so glad I decided to pull this for the palette bingo. I really need to do more palette bingos, especially since I'm doing these type of just get ready with me chit chatty videos. I'm not doing a whole lot of editing to my videos these days. Um, pal bingos are a way to make it a little bit at least interesting for you guys to watch. I feel like some of my videos are a little boring. That was from Odin's Eye 009. Very nice. So here are all the eyeshadows I had to work with and here is the look that we created. I am gonna go ahead and put on a black wing because I just need to do a black wing, but I can go ahead. I'll take a picture real quick and post it here for you guys to see what it looks like without the liner. And then I'll go ahead um, and after I you know shut off the camera, I'll go ahead and put on wing liner. I'll put on some mascara and then I'll take another picture, which I can put right here and let you guys see how it looks with the liner. And for me, pastels and black wing are just like a match made in heaven. They have to go together. So Hopefully Sophia stays asleep a little bit longer because I just really want to put a black wing and then if I'm going to put a black wing and have all this pastels, I really need to put some <laughs> mascara on my my um, my lashes because they, they need to stand out a little bit. But I'll go ahead and put that up. You guys have already seen that. Let me know what you think. I am so happy with this. All of the eyeshadows blended beautifully. Like I have zero complaints. They're pigmented. They blend easily. They blend easily into each other. They blend effortlessly into my skin. They stand out. They're pigmented. And these are pastels where I think, I feel like a lot of times pastels can get just, you know, really like lesser quality can be pastels because it's so light. I feel like they just take the easy way out. No, these are pigmented. They stand out. They're beautiful to work with. They're fun to work with. Very happy. So that's my little mini review there, but don't worry. Not my official review for sure. Um, but yeah, I just really wanted to play palette bingo with this palette, the delicious delights. And I had so much fun. So let me know your thoughts down below. As always, I love to hear from you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed being able to sit down with you guys and share, you know, just share this palette once again on my channel in a palette bingo style. And let me know, as I said, if you want to see more palette bingos with just eyeshadows in general, whatever I'm working on, pull it and do an eye uh, palette bingo. Let me know if you enjoy them because I really like them, but I could be in the minority here. So with that said, that's going to do it for me. Thank you so very much for watching, and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.